This time we visit the second half of the Technic Museum at Sintheim. If you missed part one at Sprayer, then check that video out top right now. Sintheim is about an hour from Frankfurt. Ticket and pricing information is available on this website and you can buy a single or combined ticket to both museums. The stars of the show are the Air France Concorde, closely flanked by the Russian Tupolev Tu-144. There are numerous other aircraft to explore on the rooftop above the transport hall. The Concorde draws a crowd and you may have to queue a bit to get in. Joining the Air France fleet on the 8th of April 1976, this original Concorde is a completely walk-in tour via the spiral staircase, climbing up through the cabin to 30 metres. Over its flying career, it accomplished 14,771 flight hours and 5,473 flights. The final flight was on the 24th of June 2003 from Charles de Gaulle to Baden-Baden before it was transported to Sinsheim. Inside you are immediately struck to how small the cabin is. As you can see, the queue is quite long as well. Areas of the seating have been removed to aid in moving around. And you may notice that the windows are much smaller than other commercial airliners. And really, the seating space was quite cramped. People were paying more for the speed to arrive at their destination rather than comfort. The galley was tiny. How they managed to present world-class meals in this area, I don't know. The cockpit is cramped and once state-of-the-art equipment looks pretty dated now. Seating 3, the engineer sat to the side monitoring the engines and hydraulics amongst other things. In 1960, Russia was competing with the UK and French designers to put a supersonic plane in the skies. When the Tu-144 appeared, it resembled Concorde so much there was suspicion of industrial espionage. This, however, was never proved and the Tu-144 took off ahead of Concorde on its maiden flight on New Year's Eve 1968. Concorde didn't make it up until the 2nd of March 1969. After months of more testing, the TU became the first commercial aircraft to fly at Mark II on the 26th of May 1970. Things seemed to be going well for the aircraft, but the overall project suffered a major setback at the Paris Air Show in 1973, when in front of the cameras a TU came down. When the aircraft finally made it into commercial service, its only route was Moscow to Alma Ata, and after seven months the service was dropped due to another crash. Its last regular flight was the 1st of June 1978. Having visited the stars of the show, you can move down into the transport halls, where there's a small exhibit tracking the history of Concorde and the four Rolls-Royce engines from the Air France are on display. There are over 300 vintage cars from all eras on display. On the website, they state the exhibition represents almost anything that has traveled on wheels around the world. Well, they're not wrong. The collection is wonderful and well-maintained. Whether you like cars, planes, trains, or even agricultural vehicles, there is something here for you.
We hope you've enjoyed this short visit to Sindheim. If you like our content, give us a like or consider subscribing. We have much more on our channel, including airline reviews and travel guides from around the world. Thank you for watching. Happy travels from the Memory Seekers.